Well, everybody probably wants to know what happened in the mountain bike accident. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I've been mountain biking since I was young and did trials bikes and motorbikes and biking. And, uh, yeah, I did a lot in Squamish and Pemberton and Whistler and been doing it for years. But and then with COVID, it was kind of fun. I wasn't traveling for work, so I was here every day. Just So I was biking every day. And, uh, yeah, I got more into doing jumps, which maybe I, should, I was nearly 50, so maybe not the best idea, but... But yeah, it was just one of those freak accidents. I went off too fast over the handlebars and happened so quick that I don't even think I got my hands off the bars. It was just like straight onto the top of my head. Then I was lying there like, oh fuck, I can't feel like below here. And I couldn't tell if like my legs were straight or bent or I was by myself because I always bike by myself. Yeah. So luckily this family showed up pretty quick and, and called the ambulance, but that took an hour and a half. So I was lying there. Then they got me to Nanaimo for three hours to the hospital and they couldn't do anything. So then they got a helicopter to Vancouver and yeah, crazy. And I was there, wow. for, didn't come on for six months, which is a crazy yeah. thing to think about. It's funny when my friend feet came to visit, I broke my foot. Uh, I just was transferring off the bed and slipped a bit too fast and my foot twisted around yeah. and I didn't know for a week, but I was sweating and feeling like shit and, and they were like, oh, you broke your foot. And then uh, I, I was doing that again for the last three weeks of Jess Strong. I was pouring sweat, but freezing cold. And they scanned everything. And the last thing was my neck. And they found out I had a screw loose. <laughs> the shag carpet's not the best for the fucking wheelchair. <laughs> and this thing got paid to me to play drums. The left hand not the best. Yeah, I just got this thing. I figured this will be, I'm going to try and DJ on these for now. It'll be a bit less tricky than records. And, uh, and this one's good. It uses Serato, the program that I use to DJ. And then Pioneer uh, make these amazing controllers. So yeah, big shout out to those guys for making this happen. And, uh, and yeah, so I've, I've just got this a few minutes ago, so I'm still figuring it out. But it's just like turntables where you can... It's got filters and if you jam with other DJs they can plug in too and just start playing. There's a track by this guy Nike, so, uh, I've been working on some stuff with him. So I'm just figuring out like the height of the table. I might be able to get it a bit lower too. And then it might be good to have somewhere to rest your elbows because you fall for you'll have to lean there like that maybe. Sometimes it's fun changing up your setup and see what different things do. What do you think about all the lights? Oh, it's fancy. I think that means it's going to end the track. <laughs> that can be good if you're at the club and someone's talking to you. Then you can just go back. And my hands seem pretty good. I can mess with all the filters and stuff. And, uh, it's yeah, definitely not like it used to be the pro, like the strength in the hands, especially yeah, he, the left one. Your hands seem better than last week. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I've got to work on them, but uh, yeah. The, in a week, though, that's a, an improvement. Yeah, I got to work on the range in them because they get pretty stiff. So the good thing about electronic music or and music, because you could be in a studio like this in Texas or Portland or Calgary, and so you could have made a beat last night. You go, oh, I'm going to send this to Matt. Then right away, I can play that. Like so, before you could drop it at the club or right or right away, then you can load this in. Rather than back in the day when if you pressed a record or a dub plate, you had to wait for that to get pressed. So it could be right. months kind of thing. Right. 
so it can be yeah it's pretty fun the way you, you can end up playing a track that was made yesterday or, or the same day even when you used to play records you put two copies on and skip through bits so with this you can easily put the track on both sides and sure yeah it's going to be fun to play with and it translates because this is pretty much what's in most of the clubs now the cd j or this kind of setup kind of thing <laughs> Try and fill all these up as like. So you can skip through little bits of the song. It's kind of like the beat juggling or whatever. See, this left hand's not the best. You gotta. What? Gizze. Oh, yeah. What's that? Rolling papers. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, geez, maybe geezer or. It's geezer. Like, yeah, I think. I don't know if it's. it's uh, but I met the guys at the. One of the High Times festivals. You, you got a lot of joints to roll, yeah, man. This is trippy. I found this sample. Oh, it might have even been Andrea talking. And then it's called Granular Synthesis, where it bounces around and plays random bits. Of... It's kind of like nonsense and just trippy, but then when you add it behind the beat, it kind of just gives another layer of stuff kind of thing. So you don't really, it's just in the background kind mm. of thing. Yeah, really good. I'm just with my friend Murray from Carts of Darkness. We're doing a little film thing. Oh, it's my buddy JC. We just, rec I had a beat before my accident. I sent him and he just rapped on it in the studio. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear it. I will do for sure. Alright man. Alright, see you in a bit. Right. This is the one my buddy was just on the phone, subliminal JC. And uh I've been trying to get him to in the studio for a long time. And uh, he, he just got back to me with this one. This is a beat I made uh before my injury, so uh, uh, check check. JC, alien. He's in Vancouver and white. We gonna bounce. You know how we do. Boom. I'm not even heard this yet. Make it a bounce, 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 make it a Got to figure this out, so many you know. That one could turn the effects on. Huh? 
parts go. So that you can turn the effects on with just by pressing. I didn't realise too, but it's a touch screen on here.